Hi, this is Shubham from Monia Studio and today in this podcast we are going to discuss about a buying a house or a renting house in India. Over here in this podcast we will discuss what are the key driven factors for a buying house as well as renting a house and what is the bottom line over here. Before chatting the podcast if you want to read the full article about this and the link of article is provided in description. Also if you want to watch a quick summary video of a less than 90 seconds then subscribe to our YouTube channel Monia Studio. So let's start a podcast but before that we need to understand the necessity of a house. A buying house of your own is considered as a huge milestone especially in Indian household. It's seen as a next level logical move after you have a stable source of income. However, many factors have come into play before buying a house making this as a not a straightforward decision. One could find a renting house is more viable economic option but nothing can be comfort and security for owning a house. So it is very important to understand which option is better for you buying a house or renting house. Now let's discuss why owning house is preferred. The first one is a high emotional work. One of man's basic three needs is having a roof on his head. Having a permanent roof can give a man a more comfortable than anything in the world. It creates a sense of a security and belongingness. Knowing that you have a cushion for old age reduces your mental burden. Moreover, there is a sense of attachment to your own house and will to maintain it can be a past to a future generation helping them to also secure the security to fall back on. The second key factor is it reduces the cost of moving. Owning a house removes the need for moving from one time to another. This can rise in rented accommodation due to many factors. It could be an increase in rent that would make an unforgettable. It could be also to completion for the time mentioned in the lease agreement. Constant shifting can be a stressful and hard on the pocket. It's also a time consuming to find another place to stay followed by packing and packing all your belongings. The third factor is a valuable investment. Apart from providing a high emotional work, it's also a valuable possession. Real estate is considered as a beneficial investment. Apart from extraordinary circumstances, the value of house properties is always noted to be appreciated over the period. Thus, it grows your capital not just that, it can also avail a tax benefit while making the purchase. The fourth key factor is EMI versus rent. No matter where you stay, it involves a cost in some way. This is the form of a rent when you live in a place not owned by you. On the other hand, when you buy a property, the payment is usually through EMI. Like rent, this is also a monthly expenditure but the upside there is that every installment brings you closer to owning the place so you can get a cover your housing cost for the month as well. Now let's discuss why renting house is preferred. The first key thing in renting a house is an economic option with the skyrocketing prices of a real estate and every expenses buying a house is not a priority for most or many working professionally income does not move proportionately with increasing bills moreover the rent you pay is significantly lower than your EMI this may differ from city to city but this is the case in most of our metropolitan areas it is crucial to make this comparison before deciding to buy or rent the second key factor it does not fix your one place a house is immovable asset it binds you to a place where it's situated in past world you never know when you have to move it could be a due to a change in your job accessibility to a specific facility including healthcare or even marriage having your own house somewhat restricts you from that you may force to choose an option that could not go well for otherwise and limit your growth the third key factor it opens a more option living in a rented house improve your flexibility in many ways you may want a home that is close Closer to your workplace. Later on, you may wish to live in a place closer to a good school for your kids. You may even prefer living in the same district as your old parents in the future. However, the house in such areas may not be affordable. It is therefore more practical to rent the place as that cost can come up with your budget. It's also aligned more closely with your needs. The fourth key factor is a lesser cost involved. Buying a house has a lot of cost involved. It is not just the EMI that 
that you give the first thing that fixes your position is a down payment this is a part of a total amount you must pay friend to unlock the place for yourself there may also be a legal fees and other commission and charges levied by the banker depending on the situation this is a part from registration cost and taxes that may levied on the purchase additionally you will have to pay property tax for every year after the assessment lastly the cost of renting is lesser than compared to a buying renter pay on average less than the buyer in various mnst house cost etc to buy or rent will depend on various factor and largely your financial situation so these are the key factors while deciding buying a house or a renting house now let's discuss what is the bottom line over here the opportunity cost of a buying a home is much higher than renting one however if you are at a stage where you are a stable in life and with your family finances this can be the correct next step for you ensure that you consider all cost and choose a home that fulfill all your supplementary needs after all it is not just the house but the comfort that it provides that is desire thank you guys for joining with us if you want to read the full article about this the link of article is provided in description also if you want to watch a quick summary video of less than 90 seconds then subscribe to our youtube channel monist view over here shubham from monist view signing off